Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. I'm right here in my backyard in my medicinal garden that I'm growing, which is more like a jungle, uh, if you're keeping up with it. This is elderberry that I've transplanted into here this spring. It's blooming, so it's gonna make elderberry berries. Uh, I know a lot of people are harvesting elderberry blooms right now because this bloom is medicinal. I'm not gonna go in depth in this video into the, the uh, uses of elderberry. We'll do another video on that later on when we get some berries and we can do some more identification. But I wanted you to look at these blooms before I do this video because right now we have poison hemlock in full bloom in Mississippi. And from a distance or to the untrained eye or to people that are not familiar with foraging, you can easily mistaken poison hemlock for this if you're just looking at the flowers and you're not sure. Yes, those of us that's been around this, those of us familiar, there's a lot of great differences in these plants. They're not easily misidentified but the one between the other. But I'm, I'm talking about people that's new to foraging, people that you know, I'm not even sure what elderberry is or what to do with her. I'm not sure what hemlock is. And that's the purpose of this video. It's not to the people that know the difference. So I, I wanted you to see, an elderberry has a, a wooded stem plant. It has bark on this. Uh, the, there's a lot of differences in the plant. The leaves are totally different. But my main thing is the blooms. Okay, they're a white bloom and they're out there on the side of the road and I'm gonna run down there and pick a few right quick and jump in a truck on the side of the road and take off. I want you to be able to identify poisonous plants. I've seen on Facebook several different posts about a baby that's eat up with it, about a woman that got it all over her face from sniffing the flowers. People that just don't know. And that's okay to not know. It, I, no, nobody can know everything. So to those of us that are familiar plants, it's our job to, to tell you about poison hemlock um, because we have a lot of it here. So let's go and let's look at some poison hemlock and let's talk about it. Hey y'all, all right, behind me here, is water hemlock. Now the first thing I did to, to do this video is I pulled up my picture this app on my phone and snapped a picture of it. Um, and I've got the camera set to where you can see the top of this plant is up here, okay? I'm gonna get in and get you some really good close-up photos or video of this plant. Uh, but I, I wanted to see what this app said because 90% of people that are trying to find plants now, the first thing you're going to do is check it with out. This one is, appears to be correct at, at the hemlocks. Right here, there is a large patch of this stuff. Uh, this is, I've got a lot of medicinal plants in this area that naturally grow here. Uh, so right here where I'm at, I wouldn't even consume this wild lettuce that's beside me because it's right under these plants. Um, this is, I don't know how to pronounce the, the Latin name for it, Circuita maculata, um, but it's water hemlock. They get very large, um, and I wanted to read a couple of the different writings from these things, and y'all, in my videos, I don't try to sit here and just tell you what all I know. I like to read from things from people because I don't try to pretend that I know everything out of the top of my head. There's no possible way I can know everything out of the top of my head. I can identify stuff and know a little bit about it, but then I can pull up, I know what I'm looking for, and I can find the rest of the information I need from books or whatever. So I'm going to read, spotted water hemlock is extremely poisonous when ingested and potentially fatal. Uh, so it, this plant can definitely kill you. Uh, the toxin contained in all parts of the plant are rapidly absorbed into the body and affected inhibitory neutrons of the brain causing convulsions and respiratory failure. Consuming any part of spotted water hemlock is often fatal. Some children have died only after sucking on the stems. Symptoms of spotted water hemlock include fever, dizziness, diarrhea, stomach pain, bloat, convulsions, seizures, muscle spasms, dilated pupils, and respiratory issues. Uh, but now, then I want to go and I'm going to read out of the uh, 
uh, one of these pages. Let me pull this back up. Anyway, water hemlock is the most violently toxic plant that grows in North America. Only a small amount of toxic substance in the plant is needed to produce poisoning in livestock or humans. The toxin, cicotoxin, acting direct, directly on the central nervous system, is violently convulsant. Clinical signs of a poisoning occur when a threshold dose is reached, after which grand mal seizures and death occur. Water hemlock has small white flowers, grows in umbrella-like clusters. We can, we're going to look at that and we're going to identify it here. Uh, it says it can grow from a half to one meter. One thing says up to two and a half meters tall. Uh, water hemlock may be confused with poison hemlock because of the similarity in names. However, these are two different plants that cause different types of okay. poisoning. Now, we're, this plant gets tall it's got white blooms on it uh, i can look right over here beside me and i would turn the camera but i'll mess my video all up and look at elderberry and from a distance the shape of these white flowers in full bloom are similar very similar uh, i'm not going to handle this plant now i do believe that somebody like me can be out in the woods as much as I am encountering this stuff that if I touch this plant, it's not going to affect me as soon as it will somebody that's not actively outdoors all the time. So me brushing up against this may not, and it might. I hadn't handled it because I'm going to be careful. I don't want to be sick from it. I just got over here close to it. Uh, I'm not touching it and handling it. But it has these, uh, the stems are opposite. Uh, they come off right directly across, parallel from each other, and, and the leaves are directly across. We're going to show that. Some of these stems have dark purple to them, but however, some of them in this same, stock, same little cluster are as green as they can be. Uh, but their the blooms are more rounded with uh, little white flowers, and they're what they call umbrella shape. I'm going to get in here, and we're going to take a close look at some of this. One of the things that I was reading when I was studying on this was the reports say that the plants that are more in full sun for longer lengths of time seem to have more toxin than those in the shade. So whether that really matters or not, I don't know, but it, it's one of the, the scientific facts about it. Uh, but some of these plants are, are spotted. Some of them have little specks in them. Some of them are solid. Uh, they're never particularly very straight. These plants, everywhere there's a stem that comes off, and I don't know if you can see right here beside me, but that plant comes up and it crooks this way, and then it crooks that way, and then it crooks it. It seems like all of these pretty much do the same thing, and you notice that wild lettuce in the center right here has a perfectly straight, and it's totally different, but it has some purplish to the stem. So it's easy to get confused when you run in and grab one thing. Watch for this plant, okay? Y'all, I'm right here checking on my elderberries. I have not found the other hemlock, so which is a good thing on my property. Uh, if I find some, we'll just do another video on it. Uh, but it's a good thing when you can't find it. But I did want to check on my elderberries. And these, you see these lower ones are already producing some small berries. But up in the top, there's still a lot of blooms. Uh, so I did want to pick those out of my medicinal garden. 
But what I was going to do was pick a couple of these elderberry blossoms, and I'm not going to get very many. I probably should cut them because I knocked some of the blooms off. But you see, these are the blooms on it. People are harvesting these and making medicine out of this. Uh, so that is the purpose for this video. Um, I know a lot of people are getting out for the first time this year harvesting stuff, trying to find mushrooms, trying to find medicinal plants. Due to a lot of the videos that I do and a lot of other people do, uh, and I see through the, the foraging community, like on my Facebook pages, that there's a lot of new people. Uh, the most important thing about these outdoors, and I love the outdoors, is learn what will kill you first. Uh, the first thing you need to do is identify poisonous plants and know what not to fool with. Once you know what not to mess with, then mistakes can are not going to be fatal. So obviously don't use anything you don't for sure know what is. But before knowing for sure what this particular plant is or what all it can do, I need to know the ones that I that I don't need to fool with. So that's the purpose for this video. So while you're out hunting mushrooms and you run across this plant, you don't grab it, smell of it, and, and then find out, oh, I'm broke all out everywhere and in hives, and you know I can't breathe, and I'm in the hospital. You learn these plants. If you think, well, you know that looks like poison hemlock, leave it alone. Okay. Uh, so that is the purpose for the video. And these, I'm going to show you on this plant, these are some very large elderberry trees right here, and they're not just like massively huge, uh, but they have a wood bark down the side of them. So elderberry is a lot different in a way, but when you, like I said, when you're riding down the road and don't have personal property and think, well, I want to harvest some elderberry flowers because I heard on Facebook you could make this medicine and it would do this for you. And you jump out of the truck and run down there and clip some white flowers that look similar. And then when you get to the car and all you have is this white flower and you're showing it on Facebook and saying, what is this? Well, some people can identify that for you and help you out. But if you say, oh, that's poison hemlock and you've already picked it and got it and smelled it and all this stuff. That's where this, that's why I'm trying to do this video. So thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. Like, subscribe. Um, share these videos if they helpful if you find out that hey this is a good video if you don't like it by all means don't watch it we'll see y'all next time y'all have a good one